how to find our chest voice or how to belt with our chest voice. Well, this is actually, again, a very expansive subject, and it's really cool because um, sopranos, you are kind of at a disadvantage in that you're often taught to bring your head voice down really low into your chest registration. So you're, and you have this really weak, fluty hooty kind of sound. It's true for some altos as well. I want you to think of it like this, okay? It can be a silly analogy, but you'll relate to this. If, some, if you're at a restaurant and you go to the bathroom and you ask someone to watch your stuff, and let's say you leave your phone on the table and you go to the bathroom and you come back and you see some guy and he runs across the table and he grabs your cell phone and he bolts out the door, you wouldn't say, hey, stop that guy, he's got my phone, oh. No, you go, hey, that guy, stop him, he grabbed my purse, my wallet, my phone, stop him now. Right? You'd call out. It's called the calling or belting register. So you'd belt out to that guy and you'd say, you know, that guy just stole my phone, right? Well, as strange as it, as it sounds, that is your call register. Now we can't, you know, do this with that kind of intensity when we sing, but the idea is that we understand what that is so we know how to grow it and then curb it or control it safely. So we do these exercises in the belting register. Now, there's two registrations in your call and your speaking register. So right now I'm speaking to you in my speaking register and there's actually what's called prima passaggio. There's a, there's a let's call it a gear shifting between my speaking register. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, when I kind of move into that sound, that kind of belting register, all of a sudden, I kind of have to shift gears to get up into it. So, as I'm speaking, I have to understand that I have to shed or get rid of a lot of the weight from my speaking register to get into my belting register. Otherwise, it, there's too much girth or too much mass that's brought up into the throat. Well, that's also true when I go through Segundo Passaggio, the passageway. Remember, we talked about mixed voice in one of my videos where I go, hey, and I want to go up into that sound. I have to thin out the sound, make it smaller, thin not as in weak, but thin as in small, and thin out that sound to get through the passaggio to go up into my head voice or mixed voice and combine those two sounds. So we could do some exercises, and we're going to do them now, and there's a simple one, actually there's two of them I'm going to do. Um, this is going to be a little complicated at first, so bear with me because I think you'll appreciate this, but it's going to be... Just do just that with me first, real quick. Next one. getting up pretty high, especially if you're a, 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 just an alto. If you're a soprano, you're kind of just cruising. It's easy for you. Now, don't forget, I have a whole thing on support which is super important, excuse me, um, and also how to relax and release tension as I'm going through this. So I'm not going, ha, 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 ha. I'm not killing it on the bottom. I'm being really gentle. Um, ha, 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 Okay, I want to add one more component to this mixed voice, chest voice, predominantly chest voice exercise. So we're going to do this again. The first two are going to happen the same way. strengthen that chest voice that you're looking to, to, to do. Now, by the way, there's more to this as well. There's vowel modifications. If you notice, I'm going to do this quietly for a second so I'm not shouting at you. La, la, I'm really... La, 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 
Like I have these different vowel modifications and I have this whole section in my singing course about how we modify the vowel to make it smaller as we go up top so that we're not over singing or over exploiting the vowel itself. We're actually corralling or uh, literally lassoing that vowel, kind of pulling it in and making it smaller and compressing the vowel as we go up. So let's do the next one. Now don't forget, support, ping is king. If you watch my other videos about ping, ping is king, that brightness, that open throat, keep that throat nice and open. Let's do it again. Now, by the way, as you get good at this, you're gonna speed it up, and I'm gonna give you kind of a ridiculous example. And you wanna to get to the point where you can kinda of have agility in the, in the throat too, so there's not so much mass that builds up and you have to feel like you have to struggle with the notes themselves because they're so thick in the throat, you can make them small. And in fact, another cool thing to do, this is like getting way off track, but I'm gonna throw it at you guys anyway because I think you're smart. Um, is <laughs> where you have to actually kind of land the vowel placement in the throat with each note on, along the way. It's pretty advanced and I cover this also in my singing course. But what that does is that when you're ever you're gonna try like hit a high note, all of a sudden you feel the placement in the throat and you don't have to struggle for it going from the bottom to the top or whatever. You've already worked out the muscle memory in the throat to get to that placement, okay? Hope you guys enjoy this lesson. Um, until next time, Ken Temple Vocal Academy, please like and subscribe to my channel. Check out my singing course, How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. Also, check out my singing forums here. Uh, I have close to 10,000 members in there now where we discuss all this stuff. Find me on Pinterest, Tumblr, Twitter, Smule, you name it. I'm out there, guys. So check me out. And uh, until next time, God, peace out.